The Great Smoky Mountains National Park straddles the Tennessee-North Carolina border. It's the largest unbroken roadless area east of the Mississippi and a national treasure that is recognized worldwide for its plant and animal diversity. Because of its proximity to the big East Coast cities, the park is also an important refuge for humans. It draws almost 10 million visitors a year, making this America's most visited national park. But America's favorite park is now at risk. The Park Service is evaluating a proposal to cut a 34-mile road through its heart. The North Shore Road would extend from an existing dead-end road on the east side of the park, follow the Northern Shore of Fontana Lake, and end at Fontana Dam on the west side. To cross the major tributaries of Fontana Lake, the North Shore Road would require three massive suspension bridges, each one as long as the Brooklyn Bridge. These bridges, and everything else about this proposal, are entirely inconsistent with the park's wild character. Because it is unfragmented by roads and other development, this part of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park provides important habitat for wildlife, including black bear and migratory songbirds. In recent years, scientists have discovered 22 species that are new to science, just in this one section of the park. Construction of the North Shore Road would require heavy logging and excavation of nearly 3 million cubic yards of rock and soil, more than twice the volume of the Empire State Building. The road would also cross 140 pristine mountain streams, leading to massive runoff and sedimentation. Forty years ago, acid drainage from road construction in this area sterilized nearby streams, leaving them lifeless for decades. Why would the Park Service choose to subject this special place to such extraordinary damage? It's not to accommodate cars. The Park Service's long-term plans for this area set it aside as a refuge for wildlife and backcountry recreation, free from automobile traffic. The North Shore Road is a project driven by politics. In the 1940s, when Fontana Dam was built, a small Swain County road was submerged. The U.S. agreed to rebuild a replacement road if Congress allocated money to do so. The Park Service started work and actually completed six miles, but abandoned the rest of the project in the 1960s when engineers concluded that construction would permanently scar the landscape. A clear alternative then emerged, a monetary settlement with rural Swain County. For decades, the Park Service has consistently supported this as a common-sense solution that fulfills its promise to the local community without damaging the park and at a fraction of the cost of building the road. The project came out of limbo in 2000, when a local congressman added a rider to an appropriations bill allocating $16 million towards construction of the North Shore Road. The majority of local residents were alarmed by this, because they don't want the road to be built, but it placed enormous pressure on the Park Service to approve and embrace the road. The price tag for this 34-mile road has ballooned to upwards of $600 million. Meanwhile, the governors of North Carolina and Tennessee, together with the Swain County Commissioners, have endorsed the Alternative Monetary Settlement. SELC is working at every level of government to defend the Great Smoky Mountains National Park from this threat. At the national level, we're collaborating with the Park Service to ensure that its environmental analysis acknowledges the devastation this road were to cause. We're pressing North Carolina's environmental agencies to grant stronger protection for the area's mountain streams. We're informing legislators how damaging this road would be for trout fishing and water quality. Finally, we're on the ground at the local level. SELC commissioned a study by economists at Warren Wilson College that shows a $52 million cash settlement would bring greater long-term benefits to Swain County than would construction of an unnecessary road. We're now working with local citizens to help secure the settlement this community deserves. Please join SELC in standing up for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Contact your congressman or senator. Tell them you are against the North Shore Road and encourage them to support the economic settlement. Go to our Donate page and give to the Southern Environmental Law Center. We need your partnership to win this fight.